In the most famous science fiction books and futuristic films, such as Star Wars, there are artificial intelligence characters who can do great things alongside humans and manage a great space journey. Today, with the help of microchips, the fastest computer calculations have become possible, which can work faster than the neurons in our brain. You have supercomputers that can perform up to 200 million trillion calculations in one second. What the best supercomputers do in one second is equivalent to the mental calculations of an intelligent person in 365 days. These superpowers, if combined with artificial intelligence, can be efficient for the mission of the big hub, such as helping with long space travel. Because artificial intelligence and computer acts are not just criteria for speed, but they can do many tasks. It depends. How do we plan for them? Their information analysis is faster than humans, and they perform much better than humans in their tasks. And there is an important question. Can artificial intelligence really take humans to interstellar travel? Is the technology powerful enough to be trusted? And can it handle the greatest human mission, such as traveling to other planets? In this part of Space Facts, we want to talk about these issues. In 1968, the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey was released. In this movie, there was a robot named HAL 9000, who talked to the captain and officials and carried out their orders. At the same time, the idea of artificial intelligence robots was launched. Today, NASA engineers are developing their chatty GPT-style user interface. GPT-4 is a natural language processing system that uses deep learning to generate text. This program was developed by OpenAL, a research laboratory focused on the development of general artificial intelligence. In order for ChattyGPT to be able to answer you and understand your words, more than 570 gigabytes of text, articles, books and other things have been given to it to be trained. In this way, it can scientifically provide answers that are reliable. Now suppose a spacecraft captain needs to calculate something for space operations and get information. An artificial intelligence assistant can help here and give the captain an answer as quickly as possible. Some events may happen unpredictably and quickly, so astronauts need to make quick decisions, otherwise the whole mission will be jeopardized. Such intelligent robots are practical, Practically, an artificial intelligence can be an interface between astronauts and space, like a talking agent for the spacecraft to report the events, describe the situation, and take orders and carry out. Suppose on a space mission, we reach a distant planet. While we ourselves sit inside the spaceship, robotic explorers to investigate the surface and environment of that planet are walking on that planet to measure the situation. Astronauts can talk to artificial intelligence to learn about the situation, tell them what to do outside the spacecraft, and prepare the situation so that the ship's door can then be opened and everyone can get out. Whose name is Artemis? There is a lunar gate that is a space station for part of the astronauts. A bus company designed a robot for this mission called Simon 2 which is located in the space station and is supposed to be in this lunar gate with the help of astronauts, a small assistant robot that serves as a database for astronauts. Another aspect of these robots is the space robot. Because we don't have the ability to go on long space trips and eventually we can go as far as Mars, a robotic replacement for humans can independently help in space travel and be useful for the discoveries of future generations. Artificial intelligence alone should be able to play the role of the captain, guide and controller of the stupidity, be able to overcome the challenges of the route, fuel control, spacecraft navigation and path analysis. Identify obstacles, analyze them, make decisions, even learn from the events along the way and use them for future events, just like the human experience. Such a robotic system should be used even in a trip to Mars. Considering the limited resources and a lot of time spent on traveling to Mars, robotic artificial intelligence can perform various experiments on Mars. 
for example, to examine the conditions of life and analyze the best area for human habitation on Mars, this can be done by examining the soil. For example, an advanced artificial intelligence should check different areas after landing on Mars. From soil samples take it, find out which side of Mars has access to underground ice for human habitation, which region does not have much temperature difference between night and day. Where is the radiation? The sun is less. Where storms on Mars are not harmful. Artificial intelligence that can provide such a comprehensive analysis can later be sent to distant planets to directly introduce us to other worlds. Another help of artificial intelligence is the tracking of meteors and asteroids. It is possible that in the future, a meteorite or an asteroid will be in the path of the Earth and intend to collide with us. If artificial intelligence in its space travels can analyze the path of various meteorites or asteroids and see if they are a danger to us or not, it can inform us of the collision before it is too late. NASA has already done a mission called DART, whose purpose was to change the path of an asteroid. It slammed a spacecraft into its surface and changed its course. Now, if the artificial intelligence itself analyzes the path of meteorites and then launches a rocket or spacecraft towards them to change their path, then a revolution in the field of spatial artificial intelligence is happening. In a way, we made a space invader robot that can cope with such missions, but the last step of artificial intelligence for space travel is moving at the speed of light. Going to distant stars that are several hundred million years to billions of light years away from us is a dream. Even moving at the speed of light is a dream. But if we had the ability to travel at the speed of light, the next problem would be human beings who could not expressing the physical challenges of moving at the speed of light. An artificial intelligence robot does not have the human problem of time dilation or traveling long distances or physical problems. Even if we manage to survive in thousands of years, like frozen sleep technology where humans fall asleep and wake up a few thousand years later, we still need a skilled pilot who can be an artificial intelligence. An artificial intelligence pilot is very useful for routes that have a human crew and require direct guidance of the spacecraft. We have definitely reached the era of using artificial intelligence in space and great things will happen in the future. Best wishes, see you later.